Leaving a legacy. Have you ever thought about that? What kind of a legacy do you want to leave? You know, a lot of us run around and we, we seem to be quite uh, taken by maintaining our reputation. And it's interesting that, you know what, Jesus was a man of no reputation. And um, there's so much freedom not to worry about your, your reputation. However, you still want to leave a legacy. Jesus left a legacy. And so I was thinking about that this morning. And I was thinking about Moses. And I thought, you know, if I wanted to, if I wanted to leave a legacy and have something written about me, what would it be that I want to be remembered for? Do I want to be remembered for being a, a nice person? Do I want to be remembered for being a good cook? Do I want to be remembered for being a very helpful person in my neighborhood? Do I want to be remembered for having uh, made a lot of money? Do I want to be remembered for being kind? Do I want to be remembered for walking my spiritual giftings? Or a book that I wrote? And I turned to Exodus and I began to read the interaction between Moses and the Lord. And how Moses would meet with God as a friend and um, as a deep, intimate relationship, as a friend. And I'm going to just read a little bit here. Moses said to the Lord, You have been telling me, lead these people, but you have not let me know whom you will send with me. You have said, I know you by name, and you have found favor with me. If you are pleased with me, teach me your ways so I may know you and continue to find favor with you. Remember that this nation is your people. And so the Lord responds, My presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. And then Moses returns and says, if your presence does not go with us, do not send us up from here. How will anyone know that you are pleased with me and with your people unless you go with us? What else will distinguish me and your people from all the other people on the face of the earth? And then the Lord said to Moses, I will do the very thing you have asked because I am pleased with you, and I know you by name. And I guess of all the things that we could be known for, inside the church and outside the church walls, would be somebody who loved the Lord so much, and who was so surrendered, that his presence rested on them. And I've given it a great deal of thought, and that's what I'd like to be known as. I'd like to be known as a lover of God, and that God was so pleased with me that he rested on me. And in doing that, I would not only be so close to God, and sometimes, you know, I pray, Father, let me be so close to you that I don't know when I stop and you start. So that it, it isn't just for my benefit, but it would be to bring glory to Jesus. That other people, saved or unsaved, lovers of God or, or not, followers of the way that they would benefit from that because Jesus would be glorified in my weakness. I want to encourage you today to think about that and um, not just think about it but jot a few things down and bring them to the cross and bring them to daddy and see what your heavenly father has to say. Have a wonderful day.